Well, welcome back to another edition of Meet the Crew. I am so glad to have you guys with us today. As you can see, I have another wonderful team with us today. This is a special team. This is the instructional. There are people who are working really hard with multiple grade levels on our campus. And I just want you guys to have a chance to meet them today. Instead of them introducing themselves, we're gonna jump right into the questions because they're gonna get a chance to introduce themselves to you at a later date when we get closer to the fall. So we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna start with a question that I've been asking every everybody in every video who was your favorite teacher growing up and I'm gonna start with Miss Barron so my favorite teacher growing up was coach Bailey and she was my middle school track and field coach and she just kind of pushed me outside of my comfort zone and helped me gain confidence and realize the potential in myself and when I thought I didn't have any like speed or stamina to um, to win or succeed, she kept going with her tough love speeches and making me feel like I could do anything and accomplish anything. Awesome. Okay, I have to ask because I'm a track and field person myself. What was your event? I did four by one, four by two, and I was the fourth leg. Okay, so, so you were the you were the fast one. I was not the fast one. I did like long jump and long distance stuff. So, <laughs> okay, uh, so same question, Miss Nahara. We'll come to you next. Yes, I'm actually going to go ahead and mention two teachers just because I couldn't really pick one or the mm -hmm. other. Uh, they meant a lot to me when I was younger. And one of them is Mrs. Jefferson. She used to be the English kind of like ELA teacher. And she just was very helpful. She kind of took my reading and writing to a whole different level. And, and I owe a lot of that to her. And the other teacher was Mr. Rin. And he actually is a, 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 a choir teacher still for the, I believe is a grapevine ISD. Awesome. So, um, but she, he used to be my, my choir teacher and I really enjoyed that class. I always enjoyed music to begin with. So I, those two teachers uh, hold a very special place in my heart. Great. Okay, Ms. Garza, how about you? My favorite teacher growing up um, was Miss Neighbor. She was my um, fourth grade math teacher, and she was always just very patient and kind and took the time to work with each of us, you know, individually and really made sure that uh, we really felt comfortable before she moved on. She was always very, you know, caring and loving and nurturing, and I just loved that about her. Great. I love asking that question because as I said before, it's really great to give shout outs to the people who are the reason why we're here today. Um, and I, I love talking about that. You see a lot of passion when you talk to people about their favorite teachers. Okay, sticking with the school theme, something you may have less passion about, but also something that may have been fun uh, whenever you're younger. What is the favorite thing that you ate from the cafeteria? Or if you weren't a cafeteria person, what was your favorite thing you brought from home? I'm going to go back to you, Miss Garza. What was your favorite thing from the cafeteria? My favorite thing was always the holiday lunches. And I still actually really enjoy mm -hmm. them. The turkey and the sweet potatoes and the mashed potatoes and all this, the rolls, all the carbs. I yeah. always loved them. <laughs> That's a big hit amongst teachers still. A lot of the teachers at the schools I've worked at love those as well. Uh, Miss Nahara, how about you? I have always enjoyed the lasagna. And not all schools have them, but they had some sort of Italian theme uh, food and uh, I like carbs too, just like Ms. Garza. <laughs> and so uh, I'm, I, my, I usually, my go-to is Italian food, so that's why. Great. Ms. Barron, how about you? Okay, so my favorite cafeteria meal and still is to this day was nachos. It was just like when we were listening to announcements and they came on and said, today's lunch is nachos. It was just like cheer <laughs> and throughout the school. And even now, when Nacho Day comes, I'm there. You'll see me in line probably before the students. <laughs> awesome. That's great. It's, you can't ever go wrong with nachos. Um, I'm, I myself, I'm not a big holiday meal person, but I think it's more because I'm just picky than anything. But, but those are all great choices. Okay. I, this next question is a little different than what we've done uh, in any of these episodes, but I really, I'm really excited to hear your answers for this one. If animals could talk, which one do you think would be the rudest animal? So which one of all the animals, you can take any animal from the animal kingdom, which one would be the rudest? I'm going to start with you, Ms. Nahara. Okay, so the one that comes to mind is a panther. Uh, I personally love panthers. I honestly cannot tell you why, but I feel like they would be the rudest. I feel like they have this conceited type of personality 
and perhaps that's that's why I think that would be okay. the most. All right, so so Bagheera from the Jungle Book, I guess maybe a little bit of a rude vibe. All right, oh, okay. Maybe that's where I get it from. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Garza, how about you? Um, I'm gonna go with a wolf. I don't know if I've just seen too many like. Disney movies or read too many stories, <laughs> but they always just seem so, you know, like sneaky and mean and standoffish and, you know, they seem to always want the worst <laughs> for yeah, everyone else. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to go with the wolf. All right. Uh, Miss Barron, how about you? So I love elephants. I'm going to preface by saying that I love elephants, but I had an experience that kind of traumatized me a little bit. So I'm going to say they're quite rude. And it was when I was on a safari and I was trying to see the elephants. I wasn't driving, but I was trying to see the elephants and we were getting a little bit too close and they just kind of stared us down and then slowly was creeping towards us until they came at like full speed and we just were like <laughs> in the car just running away from an elephant. I think that was quite rude. I mean, we were just trying to safely observe them from afar, but they were not having that at all. <laughs> That's pretty terrifying. You're a lot braver than I am. I'm not sure I would ever get anywhere near those things. Those things are huge. Okay, so... I think I have it. Well, never mind. I'm going to save that. Okay. I have an answer for that, but I'm going to save it before, after this next question, random pick them real quick. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Miss Barron, I'm going to come back to you. Dog person or cat person or neither. Sorry. Or I'm interrupting or neither. Okay. So even though I'm allergic to dogs, I do love dogs, but I would probably say neither. I love dolphins. Okay. All right. Miss Nahara, how about you? I am allergic to cats, so I can't pick them. I can't be around them. So I, I, I'm a dog person, definitely. Okay. And Ms. Garza, how about you? 100% a dog person. All right, good. <laughs> I was saving this, and I didn't want to insult any of you, but the obvious answer to the previous question is cats. Cats are the rudest people on the planet, <laughs> rudest animals. So the obvious answer, I'm glad that you guys thought outside the box, but the correct answer was cats. They're the rudest animals. So... <laughs> But none of you are cat people, so now I can say that out loud. If you are watching and you're a cat person, I apologize. I just don't like cats. But so thank you guys so much for coming. That was pretty simple. I'm glad that you guys came out today. So thank you to the instructional resource team, but also thank you to you viewers. Uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube like our Facebook page because we're going to have more and more of these videos and more and more fun things and more information because we have so many things to do before we come to school in the fall. I know that everyone on this video is really excited to see you. We are really excited to start this school and this journey with you. And most importantly, we are really excited to teach you and be a cardinal with you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a great summer and don't forget to take flight.